Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Okay, today we will finish this chapter. I will proceed straight to tax multiplier. Okay, for tax multiplier, it refers to the ratio of the change in the equilibrium income to a change in tax, assuming there is no change in government expenditure. So KT we denote for multiplier, tax, tax multiplier. Tax multiplier equals to change in Y over change in tax. Means that in any 1% increase in tax, how many national income will, will be multi multiplied? So tax multiplier can also derive as follows. Uh, Tax multiplier KT equals to negative MPC divided by MPS. Okay, a little bit difference with the ma government uh, multiplier. For government expenditure multiplier, neg uh, 1 over 1 minus MPC. But for tax multiplier, negative MPC divided by MPS. Okay, given C. 200 plus 0 0.75 Y, investment 100, government 50, and tax 100. What is the equilibrium income level when there is a tax cut of 50 million? So we assume that Y equals to 1,100 million. So here, we find to find change in Y, you just restructure this formula. And leave uh, change in Y and then bring change in tax to the left hand side and then you will get K times change in tax okay K times change in tax for KT you just take from this negative MPC divided by MPS so MPC is 0 0.75 negative 0 0.75 times uh, MPS 0 0.25 times change in T. Okay, for change in T, actually you have to uh, this one minus because cut. Okay, so actually this one is minus 50. So when you calculate the multiplier here is 3 times. In any 1 million tax cut national income will increase by 3 times so here when the tax cut is 50 million national income increased by 150 so change in y uh, to find the new equilibrium y plus change in y here change uh, the original y 1100 plus 150. So the new equilibrium income is 1250. Actually, this one is negative 50. Eh? Okay, so that is tax multiplier. <clears throat> okay, if you look at this uh, question, this is the example for uh, structured equation given the following equations and given the tax value is 70 and all data are in me, RM million so here you just derive consumption function by using saving function here and then calculate y2 and then what problem okay this one I will uh, I'm I didn't I do not uh, show yet and this one change in investment okay calculate the change in invest, investment to fulfill this equation this level of employment okay if you look at here same tax uh, sorry in multiplier investment multiplier and then this value to achieve full employment and also like this question yeah government expenditure multiplier and tax multiplier 
Okay, and the last for the last part is inflationary gap. Okay, for inflationary gap, inflationary gaps occurs when national income exceed the full employment level. Do you still remember what we what we have learned uh, in chapter one? Full employment level. Full employment level occurs when all the resources, all the available resources are fully utilized in a nation. Okay, so this is a benchmark here. Okay, full employment level. But our national income exceed then full employment level. That is inflationary gap. Inflationary gap can be caused by the increase in aggregate expenditure. This one, aggregate demand. Increase in C, increase in G, increase in I will cause the aggregate demand to increase. Okay. Uh, at full employment level, at this level, okay, at this level, this one, this, this is the equilibrium at full employment level. But because of increase in C or in I or in G, the curve, the aggregate demand curve increase. If you see here, the green line. So from this level, uh, for example, 1,000 million. Okay, 1,000 million. But the national income that we get is 3,000 here at this level. Means that the equilibrium here. So inflationary gap occurs here okay this one inflationary gap when the national income exceed the national income at full employment okay this one is inflationary gap how to reduce okay inflationary gap of a b will increase the general price level okay from the word inflationary means that inflation may occur might occur uh, and might increase the general price level. In order to reduce inflationary gap of AB, how to reduce from green line to red line, contractionary policy can be implemented. Government can practice contractionary fiscal policy through reduce G and increase tax. When increase in tax, uh, C might be reduced, investment also might reduce. So from green line, go back to red line. So we achieve full employment level. This one is for inflationary gap. And for deflationary gap, occurs when national income below full employment level. So the deflationary gap measured as a bit difference between aggregate expenditure over the full employment aggregate supply yfe so this one okay yfe this one is income at full employment level at this point c but our national income here we do not achieve full employment this one is deflationary gap so this one is deflationary gap when the national income here less than national income at full employment level and for this to reduce this deflationary gap expansionary policy can be implemented by increase g so we increase g this curve will from green line we go to red line or tax cut tax cut will um, will encourage you to spend encourage household to spend more so c will increase or uh, encourage firm to invest so i will increase therefore the green line will increase to red line in order to solve the problem of deflationary gap for example if income at full employment is three thousand so Basically, a nation will, will achieve um, full employment at 3,000 million. But our nation just produce in 2,000 million. Means do not achieve at full employment. 
this one is deflationary gap okay right so that's all for this part and you have to answer this question and also this question and this question and for three question after that uh, I will discuss the the answer for all these question okay if you have any problem or any um, question just leave in the comment I will uh, respond to any question that asked by you and that's all thank you Assalamualaikum. Bye.